Hey guys, you welcome back to my channel. This is Mary New Girl. I'm super excited to have you back on my channel. So if you're new here, you're welcome. If you're just passing by, I really do appreciate you stopping to watch. So you know what we do on this channel. I talk about Nigerian men, Nigerian culture, Nigerian food, Nigerian tradition, you know, and everything in between. So if this is something that you will like, do not forget to subscribe and put on your notification bells to get my videos every time i upload so in today's video i'll be telling you or i'll be sharing with you the one thing that would actually separate two people who are so much in love and have planned towards getting married they have invested everything about love and now they know that they love each other and now they decided to go get married but lo and behold this problem pops from nowhere and they are forced to separate when I mean separate I mean separate totally no marriage no nothing both of you you go your different ways do you believe me you don't? Okay, hang on. Hold on for it because I'll be spilling this to you right now. So, but before I go on now, let me tell you a little story and maybe you'll get to understand exactly what I'm talking about. Now, while I was growing up, during my teenage age, so I had this neighbor who came to request that I be one of her bridesmaid, okay? So uh, she sat down, she discussed this with my aunt, and she wanted me to join the bridal train, yes. She wanted me to join a bridal train, okay? So she had to come take permission from my people, and then we started planning towards it. So uh, I got my clothes, we were going to take measurements, and then every day the plans went on. Lo and behold, I heard, that there's gonna be no wedding and i was like what how come why what happened in my young mind i was trying to understand why the very happy couple that i see all of a sudden planning their wedding and i was going to be amongst the bridal train they are no more getting married. Now I started to ask, what's the problem? Are they quarreling? Is everything okay? And this is it. Now, fast forward to a few months later, uh, this same person who was supposedly going to marry this neighbor of mine, went ahead to marry, but married the younger sister of this neighbor. Now, I know that sounds crazy, but hold on. I'm still giving you the story. So let's just say this person was going to marry Miriam, but then things fell apart because of what I'm going to be sharing with you today. And then he went ahead and married my younger sister. Now, let it be known that they were very good friends, but the younger sister and the elder sister, they were so close, so close. And I would often see both of them in my neighbor's house, okay? And then I knew they had this very good relationship, but I never knew what went wrong. So, I asked what went wrong, and let me break it to you guys. They were not compatible medically. And in Nigeria, that is a very, very, very big problem. I don't know, maybe you've not gotten what I'm talking about, but then I'm still gonna go and explain this to you further, okay? So, anyways, to round off my story, they married, as in the younger sister and this guy finally got married, and the elder sister they didn't get married to this guy. But I see them all happy, and I was like, who knows what happened? until I later got the gist of what happened and that's what I'm telling you that they were medically not compatible now this is not the first time now while I was working as an adult it happened also to someone that I know okay but those people I don't know how it turned out for them because I later left the shores of Nigeria without knowing how it went but usually I know that it won't work because they will not wed them as in the church will not wed them okay so now 
down to this issue that I've been talking about. Miriam, what is this thing that will separate true love from being together? What is this thing that will separate a man and a woman who have been so much in love for years without no worry, just building their relationship, going to the permanent side, which is marriage. And now getting to the permanent side, they start to prepare and all of a sudden, sorry, you cannot. You can absolutely not. Now, this thing is called your genotype genotype not your blood group but your genotype now let me tell you something about nigeria growing up there's this thing that we all know about it is called sickle cell anemia okay there were lots of kids who were born with sickle cell and these kids they will often fall so ill right from their birth to probably you know as long as they live, they will continually get sick. If they're not in a hospital today, they're in a hospital tomorrow. And you will usually identify these kids in a group of children. You will often see them with protruded stomach, like they have big tummies, thin bodies, yellow eyes. Yes. Now, these are children with sickle cell anemia. And... Because of this whole thing, because of this whole sickness, now, they, I don't know whom, but the Nigerian society now, both the church, they decided against two people of AS blood type to get married. So if you're AS and your man is AS, they will not wed you. I don't know about the new generation churches, but you know, churches in Nigeria say Catholic, Anglican, you know, most of this, you know, uh, what do I call it, Orthodox churches, they won't wed you. Even the new and the modern day churches, they won't wed you just because both of you are AS. And honestly, it's something very dangerous because if you are AS, it means you're a carrier. And if your man is AS, it's also a carrier. So AS, marrying AS, means that both of you are carriers and you could produce a child who is SS. You know how this thing goes. AS and AS is not compatible. AS and AA is compatible. There are other genotypes too that are compatible, but there are others also that are not compatible. Like SS is not compatible, okay, with AS, I think, yes. AA is compatible with any other one. So being AS and this person, AS is a very big problem because they put this, they put stop to wait the church they said they do not want any couple to bring children into the world who will be suffering and even the couples they will never have rest therefore before you get married in nigeria right now you'll be required to go for a medical test okay a blood test to show your genotype now i'm not joking because i got married in nigeria and i was requested to go for a medical test and my husband was requested also to go for a medical test we had to bring it directly to the church without opening it yes either we had to take it to them or the the lab had to send it directly to the church so that there will be no mix up in between okay so that is it you have to go for it no we we took it yes we took it ourselves we took it to the church and then they saw it it must be that both of you are compatible. So what is the essence of the story? The essence of the story is, if you're dating a Nigerian man, please try to find out your genotype because it is really very important. If you are on the verge of marrying a Nigerian man in a church, say in a Nigerian church, in, a, in, the, in the Nigerian society too, you're going to be requested to go for a blood test. If you come back, with AS as your blood type, which is not a problem. The only problem is if your 
husband or your man should also have the AS blood type, then AS blood genotype, sorry, AS genotype, then there is a problem. They would not agree to wear two of you. Now, I have heard that medical discoveries or blah 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 some couples are being very stubborn about it especially those who feel like they cannot be separated because they're so in love that we insist to get married and churches will not marry them some of them do proceed to courthouse to get married okay and then they according to what i heard and that they are like of the opinion that if they get pregnant that they will go check the child if the child is having you know the sickle cell anemia then they will have to abort the child but i think that's extreme no woman wants to go through this process of you being pregnant and trying to check for the blood of the child and then if you find out the child is you know a sickle cell you will have to you know flush out the child come on no one is gonna do that and i'm telling you i've heard i've seen people lose the love of their lives because of this particular thing that i'm talking about honestly i have seen people cry i've seen people have broken just because they missed the person they were supposed to marry due to their genotype so that's all i want to share with you today my ladies just in case you're dating a nigerian man and you're so in love and you guys are making plans please the moment you start dating a nigerian man and you see that this relationship is getting very serious just go check this out ask him about this and you also check yours it is important this is the only thing that can stop a marriage it is the only thing that can stop you from marrying someone you really love. The moment you go, you check and they find out that this is the case, then there will be no more marriage. And both of you guys will be separated. And I know that no one wants this. Oh God, it's going to be a terrible experience. I have asked a lot of my friends who are from different countries if they have something like this in their country. They said no. That they never put anything in place blah 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 so uh just share your opinion what is it where you're from if you want to get married do they do a blood test do they check your genotype or your man's genotype to make sure that you guys are compatible if they do okay if they do not just share i would like to know your opinion okay so without further ado do have a lovely day do have a blessed day stay happy stay blessed then bye, -bye.